It was honestly the most important element of my family life growing up. At least three days a week, we had sort of family sit-down dinners, and that's really where we bonded. That's kind of how the two were integrated there. One part Italian, one part Irish, Joe Facciolo grew up passionate about food and drink. And now he shares that passion with others on the Finer Things Whistler Tasting Tour. Four courses, four restaurants, one night. The tours are structured in a format that we call progressive dining, where each course of the experience happens at a different location. The tour starts in the Barefoot Bistro Cellar, home to wines and traditions dating back to Napoleon Bonaparte, who believes sabering a bottle of champagne before battle promised victory. So much so that he actually made it law that one of his generals had to saber a bottle every single time before hitting the battlefield. Hey! hey. <laughs> so a victorious night awaited us, which wasn't hard to predict when opening with a beet appetizer plate prepared by the Barefoot Bistro's executive chef, Melissa Craig. Melissa did win the Canadian Culinary Championships a couple of years back and was crowned the best chef in Canada, so she is an absolute joy to work with. Our backstage pass to Whistler's culinary scene carried on to High Steakhouse as informed guides provided insights and conversation about everything from plates and people to pairings. So, so tonight we're, uh, we're going to do something a little bit fun. We're going to do a uh, blind wine tasting. We do a lot of fun things along the way. We do some champagne sabering, blind wine tastings. And there's a very social aspect to kind of moving around from restaurant to restaurant with a local guide hosting the evening. For 12 years running, Highs has been voted by locals as the resort's top steakhouse. Visitors may not be able to pick out these local gems, especially when faced with 120 restaurants to choose from. It can be very difficult to choose where to go. A Whistler Tasting Tours uh, allows guests to explore a number of different places and sort of uh, find their own favorite place while on the tour. The main course of the evening lands us in Italy. A hand-painted fresco greets us, as does the smiling owner of Quattro. Antonio Corsi is our owner, and he's definitely Italian, comes from a small city just outside of Rome. Good, welcome to Quattro. Thank you. In the back right corner, uh, we have, the artist has actually done a still of Antonio, done as Bacchus, and Bacchus is the god of food and wine. Italian dining is really about enjoying food and wine. I have to say, our, our owner always speaks of uh, abundanza, which means uh, abundance and, and enjoying a passion for food and life. Cheers. When you have a passion for food and life, it, it comes out in your cooking as well. And also in your conversation. The Finer Things Tour wrapped up with a dessert cheese plate at the Fire Rock Lounge. Like every course throughout the evening, each plate is paired with your choice of red or white wine, carefully selected by your host. The pairing that we had today was a special selection from our chef, Bradley Cummings. Um, he pairs the cheeses with the iced wine. We were pouring Inniskill and Riesling. It made in very small batches, uh, a little bit on the sweeter side, so it really complements the cheeses very well. Pairings left to the experts, guests are left to sit back and enjoy good company, the main ingredient of a memorable night out. It's really a fabulous evening of flavor and fun. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV. Cheers. Cheers,